Hi guys. Charity shop gold or garbage. Canesham today. And I am really pleased with what I found. This is why I do charity shop shopping. To find random items. Just out of the blue, really. Um, this thing. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. May not have been the same brand, but I certainly had one of these when I was a kid. I can remember it well. And um, I think it was earlier this year, we were in the Warmly uh something or other museum um which covers sort of stuff local to warmly and one of the little displays they'd got was supposedly set in the 60s so it had um a 60s type television and people dressed in the 60s or mannequins dressed in the 60s clothing and that sort of thing and one of the toys was one of these and that reminded me. So ever since then, I've been searching eBay, trying to find them, or eBay, Amazon, that sort of thing. And on eBay, I did spot one or two, but they were going for stupid prices. I suppose because they were vintage. So when I saw this one for £1.50, I snapped it up. This one, copyright 2002 to 2006. So it's not one from back in the 60s. Um, but I've already taken it out and tried it. <laughs> so that'll be a separate video. It took me quite a while to find the in assembly instructions. Because, unusually for me, I was actually reading the instructions that came with it. Or the user manual. Oh, parent's guide. <laughs> and you go through this, and it doesn't tell you how to put it together. You would think it would be telling you there, but it doesn't. That's about how to fly it. But it doesn't tell you how to put the bits together. And then I turn the box over, and it does show you have to make the parachute up, you have to assemble the catapult, you have to put it all together. Initially, I hadn't got that rubber band in the right place, or it wasn't tight enough, so it wasn't releasing and flipping open. But I sorted that out eventually, and it worked. So, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased. When I saw it in the museum, I was thinking I might try 3D printing one. I might still try 3D printing one. But now I've actually got one to look at. I've got um, something to copy. That won't be happening in a hurry, but it's something in my list of things to do. So yeah, really pleased to have found that one. Might go to the website and see if they're still selling them. Probably find it's one of those things that's no longer sold because it's too dangerous. Anyway, there'll be a separate video flying that. Or assembling it and flying it. It's quite a long, it will be quite a long video because it took me ages to put it together. Anyway, then I spotted this. Two pounds for this, but I just love clockwork. Schilling. It's probably German, I'm probably not pronouncing it right. Made in China, Shanghai, 2013. So this is potentially 10 years old.
wonder what that does. Oh, that stops it. And that starts it. Oh, right. So it's got an on-off lever on it. Tail looks a little bit sad. It's probably been stretched over the years. Unless that's actually what it's supposed to do. And I do love my clockwork items, so... I had to buy this when I saw it. Almost sounds like a dog growling, doesn't it? That's probably what it's supposed to be. Love it. Yeah. So, that's today's charity shopping. Thanks for watching. You'll always find more information down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. You might like to subscribe just here. Over here is my latest video on my channel. And down below is a playlist related to what you've just been watching. Thanks again for watching.